Hey campers, it's week three! That's right, it's f f f f farmstead where we're gonna head to the farm where people are extra resourceful, excellent makers. That's why we're gonna have projects including traditional crafts all the way to the power of the sun. Uh. Yeah, we're gonna be making things using stuff you could find around the farm. Like cows and chickens. That would be pretty resourceful, but probably not that sturdy. Oh, well, anyway, at the end of the week, we'll have a Maker Camp County Fair. With ribbons! So many ribbons! So many! We're going to have a ribbon for the best recipe using a solar-powered oh, oven, yeah. mm -hmm. the strongest paper structure, mm -hmm. and I want to see the biggest pinwheel in the entire county. Make the biggest one. And just wait, campers, pay close attention, because we have a lot of projects coming on this way. But coming up next, we're going to have some inspiration, some wind-powered art. It's gonna blow you away. And our projects will sure be a breeze. Great, kick it. With my solar marsh powered marshmallow roaster. As you can see, the plant is growing in size. It is self-watering and doesn't need to be taken care of. Wow, I really love kinetic art. It's really great how the wind makes it almost seem like it's alive. Did somebody say modern kinetic art? Oh, Rebecca, I didn't know you did kinetic art. I have a life outside of camp, duh. Why, I've done gallery shows, studio production, and I was once a government lobbyist. I honestly don't know how that last one would work. Elections are a game of fear, Paloma. Tell us about the kinetic art, Rebecca. Oh, I have a friend also named Rebecca who could show us how to make pinwheels. She even sounds a lot like me. Check it out, campers. Well, seems like she's running the show now. See you later in the share video, campers.
campers? It's sharing time. It was such a great start to the week. Sure was. What'd you figure out today, Paloma? How to make bees use the internet? Wait, no. 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 That's not possible. Prove it. Honey, I'm too beezy for that. <sighs> Anyways, it looked like you finished your project this week. Amazing. <laughs> I certainly did. I can tell you what, Paloma. I sure make a mean pinwheel. <laughs> yeah, mine is is interesting. You have a gothic pinwheel. That is You know, it is expressing itself. There is so much whimsy. Notice the whimsy. I'm noticing it. It wants to move so much. Whimsy. It's definitely like a goth. You know what? You can't tell it what to do with its life, Burke. Mine surprisingly moves well, even though I've added this little bit of uh, character to it. Yeah, I really like the pattern on yours. Yeah, this pattern's available online if you want to use it, or you can make your own using markers, crayons, or design one on your computer and print it out. Yeah, and I, I like that we have different you know weights of paper. Yours is printer paper and mine's yeah. construction paper, but you can use tons of different strengths of paper depending on the wind source that you have. Or the size that you want. I mean, I imagine the larger you build one of these, the uh, thicker the paper you're going to want to use. Yeah, and you can place them in different places of natural wind, like an air vent shaft or a corridor, an alleyway, or maybe even at the park. And remember, you don't have to do just one pinwheel. You can make dozens, if not hundreds of these, and arrange them in unique patterns and have them do weird shape things. Or if you are not enjoying how these are just blowing in the wind, you can attach a little motor to them and have them rotate to whichever wind direction you wish to go. Yeah, there's so many ways you can customize this project. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Yeah, and if this is too easy for you, which it might be, um, you can also go on to the Maker Camp community and onto the video page, there'll be multiple different types of projects that you can use that we aren't mentioning here today. So if you want to scale up the difficulty, you can do that. You know, Burke, I feel like we need an animal theme this week. What would you suggest? Bigfoot. Definitely Bigfoot. But why? Well, Paloma, he's not going to show up on his own, is he? All right. We'll post your Maker Camp Bigfoot sightings on the community page. I'm sure for some reason there will be a lot of them. Yeah, and be sure to upload your photos and videos to MakerCamp.com where you too can become internet famous and figure out why PewDiePie has such a squealy voice. And you can also leave your questions or comments for me, Paloma, a person who just now realized how itchy her nose is and has to stop talking now. Use hashtag MakerCamp for Google+, Instagram, and Twitter, and always keep your eyes on the forest. See you tomorrow, campers! <laughs>